And there were four. Four San Diego schools still playing state football title games. Cathedrals in the L.A. area on Friday, leaving Orange Glen, Lincoln, and San Diego to make long treks to the north for Saturday title games. The Lincoln Hornets have to find their way to Redwood City for a D3 AA final with Menlo. The game is to be played at Redwood City College. The city slogan there, climate best by government test. It refers to a pre-World War I climatology study that picked Redwood City as the best climate to live in. Obviously, those scientists released the information before visiting San Diego, but I digress. The important thing to note about Redwood City is it's really far away, and nothing saps your legs faster on a football field than riding the dog nine hours just to get to a game, which is one of the reasons why we're talking to this guy. Allow me to introduce Dave Dunn, head coach of Lincoln, and his junior wideout sensation, Keyshawn Smith. They're just, it looks like they're practicing in... Is this basketball practice or are you practicing indoors, coach? <laughs> oh, man, we got a little football basketball thing going on here. <laughs> well, uh, let's get right to it. Uh, coach, Keyshawn, I know you prefer to fly instead of ride. How much does it cost for you guys to fly north instead of ride a bus? Um, it's going to be anywhere between sixteen and $18,000 to get flights. I've seen your face, Keyshawn. Yes, a lot going into this. <laughs> All right, now, Coach, you, you must have a coach's slush fund with that much money in it, right? Man, I wish we had a coach's slush fund. I, I think I'm working on about three cents an hour right about now. <laughs> All right, well, uh, and so we're going to throw the graphic up. The reason why you guys are talking to us is we want everyone to go to this link where we, uh, where you guys are, you've got your um, your your bid to help get people to help out. Keyshawn, I assume you'd rather fly than ride a bus, right? Yes, sir. Uh, explain yeah, why it's important. The bus ride is way too long for us. <laughs> exactly. So we're going to look at some of the highlights. Uh, you guys have gotten on a run here after uh, the uh, forfeit against uh, Cathedral. You've rattled off six straight. Keyshawn, what's been the key to your guys' success? Uh, what was that? Sorry. What's been the key to your success? This, this run? Um, our coaches being here for us. Uh, all the... <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't That's know right. what to say. All right, well, Coach, and then I'll, I'll, I'll throw the question over to you. How have you strung six in a row together? Well, like I said, these kids have just been fighting every day. They have really, really big hearts. They dig down really deep and just really work hard. And we got some video of your opponent, uh, Menlo Atherton, or Atherton. They, they, Atherton. They do a real good haka dance. Uh, I looked them up. They, they're they're not as big as Lincoln High School in the sense that they only have 800 kids, but it costs like 42 grand to go there, Coach. So is this like uh, the ultimate wow. private school? I mean, it's a it's a big. Uh, it, it's claim to fame as two members of the group Fleetwood Mac, by Stevie Nicks and. Former guitarist Lindsey Buckingham wow. both went to school there. I bet you didn't know that. I did not know that at all. Uh, and the price of their tuition is the price of our trip. <laughs> <laughs> so, Coach, talk a little bit about that as far as how do you get ready for a team that you know nothing about? Um, you know, we have to wait and rely on film. I did make some call around and try to see exactly who we were going to face. Um, and there's only 800 students, but, they, you know, they have a phenomenal linebacker there. He's got an Alabama offer and Auburn, and, and I think he has, like, 30 offers on the table. And they have a, um, a D tackle that's committed to Washington State, supposed to be the top so sophomore wide receiver in the state of California. So we talk about 800 students, but, you know, they have, they have a, a really good football team, a 6'8", 325-pound right tackle. I mean... Seem like they got a pick of the litter over there. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I imagine with a tuition like that, you get the players you want. Keyshawn, we, we have, we're rolling some video of some of your great catches this year, but I want to ask you about one in particular, if we could take this full. The get, catch against Culver City, the diving catch in the end zone. Did you really catch that, or did the ball uh, hit the ground? I caught it. I caught it as soon as I touched that, I rolled over. You sure did, young man. You know, with grabs like that, you're only a junior. You're already on the 2019 PPR Silver Pigskin watch list. Keep making plays like this. 
wow. and you're going to be the first Hornet to ever be on the PPR podium. Is that too much pressure, or is it just good motivation for you? It's just good motivation for me. Keep grinding and keep working hard. Coach, before we let you go, we have an interview that you gave after Culver City. I think 41,000 people have looked at this on our social media sites. I want to roll it, then I want to ask you a question about it. This is right after the win in Culver, against Culver City. Roll it, guys. Well, it means a lot for us because you know what? Everybody keeps trying to bring up the negative about Lincoln High School. Everybody want to focus on what we didn't do instead of what we did do. Okay, bottom line is we won. We're here. We're representing San Diego. Live with it, and that's the way it's going to be. Lincoln. Yeah. Coach, 41,000 views plus. Now, when you were talking about that. Now, if I can get those 41,000 <laughs> to donate $1 each, we have our goal. There you go. But I want to ask you specifically, were you talking about that? You got criticized after the forfeit against Cathedral. Were you talking about that, or were you just talking about the fact that sometimes people just don't hold Lincoln in the, in the highest regard? What were you referring to specifically? It was, a com it, was a com it was a combination of both, because our season will not be defined based on a forfeit. A forfeit was, was, was because of a safety issue. And that was the first thing I was looking out for because we actually had two forfeits this year. But um, that does not take away from the way that these guys have prepared and, and fought through adversity and, and, um, and made it to where they are right now. It had nothing to do with the forfeit. It had to do with what they did on the field. All right, Coach, be before we let you go, fair enough. Uh, the moral compass of the PPR is a coach you know, John Shacklett. He, uh, he's been with us for a really long yeah. time. This year he had three former athletes win section titles as head coaches. You're one of them. Tell us what it meant. What did Coach Shack mean to you? I mean, Coach Shack was great um, for us. I mean, he, it wasn't just about football. I mean, I didn't come in as the best, as the best athletes, best student athlete. But he stuck with me. I think I only, I only got to play for him my senior year, actually, because I wouldn't take care of myself academically. So um, he stuck with me and, and, and made sure that I um, got it together. So Coach Shaq means a lot for more than just football. He was a person that kind of stood by us and, and paved the way for us. All right, well, Coach, we're going to get the graphic information up on all our social media sites. We're going to run it in all our remaining sportscasts. We're going to turn that link into a real uh, graphic. I apologize for that, everybody. But, Coach, uh, thank you for taking time uh, for uh, joining us. Keyshawn, all the best to you, and we're going to have our eye on you, young man, for the rest of the way. You are on our silver pigskin watch list. Gentlemen, thanks for taking time away from Thank practice. Uh, Coach Charles James and one of his players, Mo Jackson, will be in studio in the 6 o'clock.